Hello everybody and welcome to the very first episode of Pingcast. Pingcast is all about Pingai OS. Pingai OS is an Ubuntu based Linux distribution that's designed to be very very easy to use and out of the box as possible. You install it and you have Flash, Java, Codex and everything there. As soon as you install it, no need to go out and install something like Ubuntu Restricted Extras. You can just install the system, open up a web browser, go to YouTube, and you can just watch a YouTube video right after installation. There are also a huge amount of applications installed by default, and it's designed to give as much functionality to you as soon as you install the system. That way you don't have to go out and find this and that program for this and that task. It's all there as soon as you install the system. If you don't want that huge list of applications, then you can install the mini, which is why I've installed. And it'll have most of what you, well, it has the Flash, Java, Coax, and everything. It'll have most of what you want, and it won't have that huge list of applications. I'm uh, currently running 11.1064 bit mini. Uh, you'll probably want to go for 11.04. If you want GNOME 3, then go for 11.10, as I said, still in beta, but it should work pretty fine. But most of you are probably going to want 11.04, which still uses GNOME 2. So you go to the PinGaiOS website. Ah, it's offline at the moment. Anyways, yeah, you just click here, here for normal downloads, here and here for torrent for the 32-bit or 64-bit version. Now, I'm going to show you around the desktop a little bit. Here is for additional drivers. If you need to install additional drivers, just go there. Here's Conky. The Conky is a system monitor. It's a very, very nice system monitor. Uh, many people love it. It's very light on the resources and it can monitor just about anything. So the more the more it has to monitor, the more resources it's going to take, but it's generally very, very light. The only drawback to it is you gotta edit a configuration file in order to customize it. But Pin Guy is taking care of that for you. He has a very nice conky there. Has the whole configuration file written up for you. Now if you want to take a look at what it's like. Yeah. Like that. Down here, instead of a panel, we have a dock. We should have two docks. One for selecting your applications, and the other has just folders you can go to. And computer, home, documents, music, pictures, videos, and downloads. Now, if you want to change the dock behavior, just click on the anchor. And you can toggle on and off when uh, having it start when you log in. You can change different themes. You can install more themes. You can add docklets. You can turn off the zoom. Give yourself a 3D background. This is pretty configurable. Oh, maybe you want that digital. Show the date. Maybe you're in the military. Good 24 hour time. Yeah. Uh, the menu next. We have a search bar here. Just search for an application like Firefox. It'll pop up in the results. There you go. I have different categories. It defaults to all. But you can click on different categories. You'll have a lot more by default if you go with the full version. I went with the mini, so I'm not going to have as much. Uh, LibreOffice is your alternative to Microsoft Office. And one other thing I, I want to point out is your terminal right here. And I, I already went to this. You might be told to 
do a command like to app get install and something on a pack like seven zip you'll be you'll be told to enter some sort of text like that. This is where you go to enter that text. Uh you may have to go to this, you may have to resort to this uh to get help because some users that's just their preferred interface. So uh yeah. Uh, just remember where that is, it, and using the command line can be pretty helpful. I mean, it can be a bit intimidating at first, but you'll get used to it, and in some instances it is pretty useful. It can be advantageous and better to use than the graphical user interface that you're accustomed to. Uh, And here we have the Ubuntu Software Center. If you want to install extra applications, this is where you want to go. We have different categories we can go in, or you could search for something. But, uh, uh no, search for something like 7-Zip. There you go. I want to install 7-Zip. Well, first I want to find more info about it. What is 7-Zip? So here we have uh, some information about it. There may or may not be a screenshot there. And we have reviews. It decreases directly into archive manager. Great compression, excellent encryption tool. Okay, maybe I want to install this. Uh, this sounds good. I'll just click install. Pop in my password. And it'll install. I'll cut the video here. Alright, 7-Zip is installed. Let's say we tried it, we didn't like it, we want to remove it. Just click on remove. Remove all. It may or may not ask you for a password, I already entered mine, so it'll just go ahead and remove it. As simple as that, that's how you remove and install packages on your Pingai OS system. It's very, very easy. You don't have to go out, I mean you can go out and Google uh, this or that package if it's not in the software center, but there are a huge amount of packages in the software center at your disposal, so you don't have to go off to some strange website and download a program and hope that it's not going to mess with your computer. It's here in a trusted source. So that's a very nice thing to have, very handy thing to have. Alright, that was this episode of Pingcast. I hope you enjoyed it. I told you that I'm going to be covering Pingai OS. I told you that Pingai OS is an easy to use Ubuntu based Linux distribution and I showed you around the desktop. I really hope you enjoyed this screencast. I have more to come. If you have a request, just send me a message. I'll see what I can do for you. If you need help, go to the Pingai OS forums or IRC and we'll be happy to help help you. Have a great day.